Okay, today we're going to look at how to identify uh, an unknown halide, which would be iodine, bromide, or chloride. And, uh, but we're going to do it on a known, and so here is a known that you would find in the lab, 0.1 molar sodium iodide. But to get this reaction started, we're actually going to work with, um, uh, we'll work with bromine water. So you're going to go and you're going to find uh, bromine water, and you're going to put some of that, about a milliliter, uh, using the uh, pipettes, and we'll put maybe two, two squirts in here. And the amounts are totally critical, just enough to see what's going on. And you can see bromine has a yellow color to it when it's in water, but what we want to see uh, what happens and when we add some hexanes to it. Hexanes uh, is nonpolar and it's less dense in water, so it's on top. If you mix it very well, you will find that the nonpolar bromine will go into the hexane layer. Let's put a little. So you can see that the orange color has gone into the hexane layer. We are at the beginning of our reaction. We have added bromine in here. Now we want to know what happens, mainly focusing on the hexane layer, when we add now sodium iodide. But it's really, this will split because it's in water, and you're really going to have just the iodide uh, ion that we're going to react it with here. So let's see what happens. So we grab our iodide, and you put in maybe 12 drops. 11, 12, and you see if the hexane layer changes. But you got to mix it really well, and hopefully you can start to see the reaction. Oh, this one looks like it's changing from when I had a hat orange there. If I keep mixing it really well, very vigorously, you could also use a test tube. You can now see that, hopefully, it's kind of purple on top. That means a reaction took place. The hexane layer now has, and I'll move it down here, the reaction took place and converted the iodide, two of those, into IOD. And that's in the hexane layer. And it also formed bromide ions, two of them. So this reaction went because this is orange in the hexane layer. Orange. And then this is uh, over here of a purple color. This is how you know if a reaction went. Now if the color had stayed orange, we would say no reaction happened. And that's how we're going to report it on our uh, forms today.